This week on the Wreck My Podcast, Cam and I got to record our episode at the Dudes Brewing Company in Santa Clarita, California, with the owner as well as the host of their podcast called A Few Beers, A Few Laughs. We shoot the breeze with our guests and challenge them to a few questions regarding beer in pop culture. I do want to give a viewer discretion advice warning for this episode. We normally edit out cursing on this show, but I'm pretty busy this week, so I'm leaving it in. You have been warned. Now sit back, drink responsibly, and welcome to The Wreck My Podcast. Um, so this is the Wreck My Podcast. Welcome. We're at a new location at the Dudes Brewing Company, yeah, we are. which is right across the street from my house. So we're taking a little bit of a break cam from my living room <laughs> what, like a, like and a, coming we, to the place of where we buy beer to drink. We and buy drink, here. Yeah. And then drink it here. But we're not at your but house. We're not drinking. at my house. So this is really weird. It's weird. It's like we moved a grand total of like 400 feet. Sometimes you just need to get out of the house. But yeah. yeah. So, are you live streaming this? No. This is this is for later. Oh, yeah. No, we're live streaming. <laughs> if we live. <laughs> no, I. I edit everything in post because I stumble over my words a lot and I don't know how to speak the English language very well. So, you know. Great. I'm glad you're podcasting. I know. <laughs> I know. I inter- you haven't even introduced me. I'm already being I'm a sorry. Show. I'm sorry. We have two guests here today. Brian McDaniels. No S. S. No S. No McDaniel. S. I know. It's like dang it, 50-50. So, Brian McDaniel, who is the host of another podcast or the MC. What would you prefer to be called as? Yeah, no. Host is good. Host is good of A Few Beers, A Few Laughs. You also do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you're a television personality. Of yeah. some sort, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to expand on that, well, a I was bit on more. TMZ for there eight years. I was one of the guys talking shit in the Yay. back of the room. Toby doesn't like that because no, Toby <laughs> likes that because his boss is coming to our podcast tomorrow, <laughs> which is awesome. Fair enough, fair enough. There you go. You get the connections. Was that how was that being on that for years? Because that's something that everyone in the country knows about when you say TMZ. You know, yeah, it's true. Um, it was fun. It was fun. fun. I, did, I didn't have to gather news for them, which is a really hard job. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to tell jokes and be a jerk on television. Hey, that's great. the fun part. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the best is, part. Is, is TMZ great. still a thing? I don't know. I don't watch TV yeah. except for Netflix very much anymore. It so still it's still, they're still going it's strong. It's still a thing. The, so this is clearly a millennial podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Hey, our, our loyal listeners already know. They're all millennials that listen to this. You're like, yeah. oh, is television a thing? Yeah. Do people have TVs Can in their you, house? Just talk Do about you have direct TV? What is this cable you talk about? Yeah. Yeah. Talk yeah, about no, Hulu and avocado they're taste. All, they're all just, it's all the, oh, I've got a big phone. I've got the extra big phone for watching things. Yeah. That's it. You yeah, just you have do. different size phones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And the other way you can tell this is a millennial podcast is... Um, we're actually giving them the equipment to record it on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we deserve this they, equipment. Yeah, um, this is our right <laughs> yeah. to have this equipment. Yeah. We have another guest here, uh, the dude himself, Toby. Oh, are you the dude or are you not the dude? I'm the dude, man. You're the dude. Oh, yeah, right. so Call you're me. you're the owner of this fine establishment and yep. all the ones around Southern California. Is it all Southern California locations? Or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've got uh, Thousand Oaks, Huntington Beach, uh, Santa Monica. And the brewery down in Torrance. Nice. All right. Nice, and then right man. here in Santa Clarita, too, where I'm born and bred. So I loved it when I was, I moved across the street and I'm walking down to the mall one day and I see, hey, a brewery's going in. And I was super excited about that. So I'm glad it was this one because you guys got a big list of beers and they've all been good of what I've tried so far. And I awesome. haven't gotten through all of them yet, but I'm close. So I'm close. L- you moved. Do you have your own apartment? Yeah. So me and my wife own an apartment across the street pretty much. Wow. Yeah. I'm a millennial that owns a home before the age wow. of 30. <laughs> I'm a millennial what? that doesn't. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm the regular millennial. It's a, it's a good offset between yeah. the two. Yeah. 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 Good balance. I'm slightly... Uh, Successful, I guess. I don't know. I'm no. moving to Texas. So I don't know how successful. I'm that not is. successful. So at why all. are you moving to Texas for your so, job? No, not for my job. I'm actually going to w- be working remotely. We're moving there because my wife and I want to start a family, and we realize that if we're going to wait till we get a house that can accommodate children, we're going to be too old, or she's going to be too uncomfortable with her age to keep trying to have children. So I thought we were going to say uncomfortable with her eggs. With her eggs. I thought you were going to um, say. So we decided. <laughs> we, <laughs> we both grew up here. She hasn't moved out of a mile radius of where she was pretty much born and raised and we thought hey let's just move to texas i have a friend that moved to frisco recently we did a bunch of research of areas in in america that would be good to move to and that's one of the largest 
growing towns in America right now, and we Te looked at Texas, Frisco, Texas. Oh, Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Texas. I thought you were just being oh. very casual about no. San Francisco. So no, te te yeah, yeah, so no, no. <laughs> we're moving up to the Frisco. Yeah, no. So you know, it's just to start our family. Have you thought through the old child care? I mean, you're leaving like free child care behind here in Santa Clarita area because of parents and stuff, yeah. or. Um, yes, that was something we had to think about, um, and my parents are, I told them Monday that w once we made our decision, I told them on Monday or Tuesday, and they were not happy with it. They were a little bummed. Her parents were excited because they're the adventurous type. My parents were bummed because they're the more like everyone stick close together Italian family type thing. Uh, so, you know, but it's just something we got to do so we don't look back when we're 60 and say, hey, we never moved out of Santa Clarita in our whole lives and tried anything different. I so, mean, can we talk about what's most important is that now I'm not going to have a podcast to be on regularly? Hey, like, there's a, it's about there's technology, me and not man. about you. There's technology. Yeah. You'll get on on Skype. It'll be fine. That's fine. I'll, sound, yeah, like, I'll so, sound like shit. I won't sound as like masculine and pretty as like the pretend deep voice I have I'll turn on your this face podcast. Up. Thank you. So, Toby. <laughs> Cam, <laughs> I, Cam's <laughs> getting laid off his podcast. Yeah. yeah. He's getting a lot of that podcast poon i really <laughs> so toby i, I know have, he was just talking to me and he's like i gotta go my girlfriend's calling <laughs> like, ah, yeah fuck it. Oh, okay buddy i i'm, I'm curious real. she exists i promise <laughs> i'm curious toby yeah. so what spurred uh the desire or to start trying to, to own a brewery here uh was that something you always wanted to do or was it something new uh you know my wife and i used to do uh tastings 2009 or so. I mean, what did, were you guys, could you even drink back then? Two uh, no, I was two no. years before I could drink. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah. So 2009, the wife and I used to do uh, uh, tastings at Whole Foods uh, mm -hmm. in El Segundo. We lived down in the South Bay and uh, just caught a, caught a, uh, we liked craft beer. Uh, you know, I was making enough money at the time. I could step up from Bush Light from college and, you know, yeah. you know Michelob, Golden, the rib cans and, uh, Cam, careful, and uh, <laughs> and, the, uh, and and stepped it up to uh, some craft beers, and you know from there, I uh, just noticed there wasn't a ton of craft beer out in Los mm. Angeles uh, back then. I think there was only a handful of people, and you know I'm a kind of a serial entrepreneur. I had worked in construction for at that point, uh, oh shit, ten years or so, mm. and uh, it's a tough grind, commercial construction, and then just decided to make a leap. Yeah. Was doing two jobs at the same time, doing the construction and the brewing, and then uh, in 2015, kind of broke over. And, doing the beer full time and then noticed that the marketplace was getting tough. The three tier mm -hmm. model is really challenging selling your beer just in distribution stuff. So we started to uh, build out tasting rooms. And so that's yeah. kind of where we sit now and, uh, and build okay, them I have out. a question. I have a question. Are you looking for more venues? No, right now we've got Hollywood opening up, you know, hopefully this mm -hmm. fall and then Anaheim probably first of the year. And uh, after that, Right now, I think I think I'm, I'm, I'm we're going to soak them all in and get our operational shit together all the way, and make sure we're putting out a good product for everybody and giving the right service and everything. And then once we, uh, and, and then from there, we're always looking you at can new just stuff. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're, no, we're, always, we're always looking for the right opportunities, yeah. Brian. Well, hey, we that's, that's like 5,000 times more than most uh, breweries and tasting rooms out there yeah, right now. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a huge growth in such a short amount of time. Uh, it, that's on level. Like, I think at that point, you probably have more places than almost Stone does at that point. I mean, yeah, you're getting, getting up there. Yeah, with, we, you know. we, didn't, we didn't climb across any climates. But, yeah, we're yeah. Uh, in terms of Southern California, we've got quite a few. And we've given ourselves a, an ability to do more uh, if we find the right spots. I mean, right now it's kind of sit and wait uh, and see what yeah. the market's going to do. I mean, there's a lot of us and not a lot of distributors and mm. there's only so many consumers uh, yeah. out there. So, you know, we're doing the best we can and our, our thing is to control what we control. A lot of great beers on tap and variety for you guys. You know, that's where we've expanded to 27 taps mm -hmm. now with barrel aged beers and so on and so forth. So it's exciting. I it's would good. say that's something that Jordan and I really like dig about this place because it's so close to our home. We can come here and we can try literally anything on yeah. tap and not just go to another place that only has maybe like, I don't know, 12 things or like a hundred beers that I've had like in college that I don't give a shit about. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I can come here and I can try something that's different and beat Jordan at chugging one on the podcast <laughs> we recorded earlier. Yes. Yes. You can beat me at chugging beer. The, yeah. the, I was, will give what you What was that. my official count? How fast did I chug a pint? Yeah. 3.2 seconds. You chugged a beer in yeah. 3.2 seconds. Yes, I did. 
I don't believe you're a human Tune being at that point. Tune into a few beers, a few yeah, laughs to listen which, to someone. Yes, another yeah. another yeah. plug I'd love to put in here. A few beers, a few laughs is a great show that I've been following since I heard about it. it it's fairly new. I think you guys it have is. like eight episodes out now and everything, which is great. But it's really funny. I love that you guys have comedians on all the time. You had us on, so I mean, yeah, you do have awesome. a lapse of judgment there. But yeah. you normally have great guests on, so you know, and that's good stuff. So all our listeners, go check that out. It's right up your alley if you like laughing at stuff. A hundred percent. People love laughing at stuff. Yeah. Um, so I would like to move on to a little bit of something since we are in a, brew, a brewery, our tasting room. And yep. you don't brew the brewery here, so I guess no. it's, it's all not made a brewery. In yeah. yeah, but we are in the tasting room. I would like to talk about some beer stuff with you guys. And since we are, is this pop- just for Toby? This is for all. Uh, I mean, a, it, a, it was Brian, the location. Your Brian, is poor come on. Best. Yeah, it's true. I'm not good. You're I'm probably going to know this though because you were in the television industry, and this is pop culture meets beer. No, so I you need might you. Know I actually some need stuff. you on this. Yeah, I so you might know I'd some stuff. I'm going to smoke you. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of examples, uh, and and actually this bre- this this brewery as well is kind of an example of pop culture being a part of of brewing because there's a lot of. Uh, pop culture undertones in the sense of what you guys are naming beers and stuff like that. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, and so I enjoy that. So some of the other ones are like Omegong Brewery or Omegang or however yep. you pronounce it in New York. Uh, they have the Game of Thrones stuff, which is pretty yep. cool. I always buy that for all my friends that are Game of Thrones fans. Uh, there's been a few references to Breaking Bad. Uh, I know that Marble Brewing has a Heisenberg Dark and then Knee Deep has a Breaking Bud, uh, which is hmm. a funny one. I like the cover of that. You know why Marble, actually, because Breaking Bad was filmed in Santa Fe. That, or in, uh, uh, Al- Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Yeah. Yeah, so it's that did. area, and they're like, we got to have our namesake here. Well, they you always, know? The whole c- crew, we, we had a stint in New Mexico, and their whole crew used to come over and drink beers at Marble after their, all the sets and everything. Well, that's pretty cool. No, that's yeah. rad. Yeah, that's the really cool. So there's, there's a lot of uh, history there then yeah. with uh, Breaking Bad Fuck and you, that Brian. Route. I know my shit. <laughs> 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 and then we got another one uh, called Holy Grail Ale by Black Sheep Brewing, uh, which I had in Miami at a place called Burger and Beer Joint back in 2011. That was great. And then San Fernando Brewery around here as an Imperial Stout. And there's a bunch of other ones. There's a million. But what I want to get into here is I have a little bit of game for you guys where okay. you're going to play against each other. Against each other. It's a trivia game. There's no hostility there's brewing th- between us at all. <laughs> so. Wait, do I, do Brian's I? got his arms crossed. So <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I will let it be you two on a team and Cam can be on a team by, by himself. Myself. No, I want to go against Toby. You want to go? Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, Let's do it. it. He wants a to- shot at the yeah. Toby versus... Un- unlike okay. you, I have a real competitive streak. Oh, wow. Way to call yeah. it out, man. And if you don't know what we're talking about, check out a few beers, a few laughs. Um, okay. Am, am I still playing, or do I just have to be quiet? I think you should be quiet, unless they can't <laughs> figure it out. I think you should always okay. be quiet. I'll call okay. on Cam yeah. if I need help. Okay. So that's why he's moving, Cam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just because I exist. Come on, yeah, fair. come on. It was if one of us had to move. It's all good. Um, <laughs> so let's start off. I have eleven questions here for you, and we'll see how you do with this. So, Cheers, a show about a bar, ran for how many seasons? Oh shit. Brian, have had it. I, I, I got nothing here. I'll say 18. 12. It was incorrect. Do you have a guess, Cam? Yeah, I'm going to say uh, 14 seasons. No, it was 11 seasons. That's what I said, 11, 11 seasons. 11 seasons. And what I found out Boom. <laughs> about Cheers, so I was in Boston recently, and I went to the uh, Finch and Bowl, or the Bowl and Finch, where whatever the actual place is where you walk down the stairs and you go in. And I was reading some did they trivia know your, about did it. Did they know your they name? They knew my name. I walked in. I'm like, this is so weird. They knew my name. Uh, How many so people there knew your name? Everybody. Okay. <laughs> Were you wearing Michael Jordan shoes? And they just said, those are nice Jordans. <laughs> you know what? And that makes sense now. Because that's what it was. But uh, so the cast of Cheers, they went to the bowl and Finch, Finch and Bowl, whatever it's called, the place where Cheers is supposed to be. And they got really wasted there on the uh, the season finale. But then they had to go on the Tonight Show or the Late Night Show or something afterwards. So they are there just completely trashed on the TV show. And I think Kirstie Alley was singing. What did, I told you what she was singing. And it was just like, I got a duck, I got a duck. Or something yeah. like she just was singing this really she random about song a duck she about had. it. And it's great. So if you like Cheers and you want to see what they look like actually drunk, go check out that and if you like Kirstie Alley singing about yeah, ducks, and Kirstie so Alley. <laughs> is that like the fat Kirstie Alley or the skinny one? I think at that time medium. it was skinny, right? I would say medium. medium. Yeah. Okay. A schmedium Kirstie Alley. Schmedium Kirstie Alley. Yeah, yeah. I think. No, I don't think she ever really got overweight on the show. Yeah, I think she was so always yeah, pretty. That was, that was post. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, number two. Uh, and she ate herself. <laughs> yes. She, uh, she came to the Doe's Brewing Company and had pretzels all day long. <laughs> Copious the amounts of heavy calorie there. Here. She couldn't yeah. handle it. It's true. So number two. What is the fictitious beer called on The Simpsons? Duff's. There you go. Yeah. It is Duff. I think I should, have a, I should have a call in uh, here. So let's just use Duff. Now as, as, the our, as our call in, call say, for a it. safe word. A safe word, yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's our buzzer. As our, our buzzer. buzzer. Yeah. Be- Beetlejuice. <laughs> so going, at, oh no more. <laughs> All right. So uh, going with that, what color is Duffman's hat? Duff. Yes, Brian. White and red. It is red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you call him Duffman? Like he's like a de- like a dentist. Yeah. In, in Thousand Oaks. Yeah, Oaks. exactly. His name like, is Steve I Duffman. Believe, I believe the Duff. I believe the other color is yellow. Yellow, I think, was his cape. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think his skin color was yellow. <laughs> I'm, up, I'm up two. His skin anyway. color was yellow. Just... I've got two on I'm gonna, you guys. I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna give you. T- I'm gonna give it to you for red. Red. So sure. we got. We got uh, one. Jesus, yeah. sympathy. We got I like one. That. I like that. Yeah. I need Brian to like me a little bit more here. <laughs> so number four. In what show can you find a group of friends referred to as the gang hang out at a bar called P- Patty's Pub? Duff. Yes. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. That is correct. Yeah. It's always well sunny done. in Philadelphia. Well done. I, uh, love, I met Charlie Day. He came into uh, my undergrad. He, they were shooting It's Always Sunny at uh, Cal State Northridge. Was and he it, wearing a green suit? Uh, he wasn't being green man uh, at the time. I wish he was, but it, he was one of the coolest dudes I ever met in my whole life. Like, I thought you went the, to San Francisco's college or whatever. Uh, for graduate school, sometimes oh. people go to college twice to oh. get a, get a oh. yeah. When they don't do it right the first yeah. time. <laughs> when you don't do it and then they don't work in the summer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't work it. in the I'm summer, with, you don't make money. Cam yeah. is essentially Van Wilder, just a little bit less likable. And I look exactly <laughs> like I Ryan Reynolds. I respectfully disagree no, with that. I'm a big Van Wilder fan. No offense, Cam. No, it's okay. It's okay. Toby talks about Van Wilder all the time. Really? That's bullshit. It's been on one other podcast. Check it. Sounds Check like the all tape. the time to me. I, the only thing Ryan Reynolds and I have in common is our abs. That's it. Oh, either abs? Okay, yeah. sure. We won't, we won't test that. <laughs> I'll, t- I'll take uh, your word on it. Yeah, thanks, man. Well, so, for the vi- you guys have video. Why should do. we take the word for uh-huh. it? See him. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Come on, Cam. Because I don't want to... You can I don't digitally wanna, edit, right? You don't have to Photoshop, I don't Photoshop want out all the stats I don't want our viewers to fall off that fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm finally getting a good viewership base here. We don't want to scare them away. Um, so number s- five. We're tied. on number five We're now. We're tied. We're tied. Yeah. Uh, what character from Breaking Bad brewed his own beer? Duff. Yes, Brian. Glenn. No. 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 It was not Glenn. He he made wait, 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 he wait. brewed heroin. You don't get two, Brian. <laughs> no, no, you no, got no, one. You I'm letting you Do get you a know. chance. No, before I don't. You I, I've never watched Duff, one episode of Breaking Bad. It's Hank. Yes, you're right. It it's is Hank, Hank. Oh, Schrader. It is he Hank. called it Schrader oh. Brawl. Yeah, he called it of Schrader Brawl. Of course, of course. Yes. It's Hank. Are, am I giving you points? Glenn brewed. I don't know. Glenn brewed coffee also. Oh yes. He had a special. He had his coffee. He did that. Yes. Maybe you should pay attention. No, I just wanted to compete. I felt bad just sitting here. There you go. All right. Oh. Number six, guys. In what movie can you find a secret underground competition of beer drinking games? Duff. Yes. Beer Fest. That is correct. Yeah. It is now two to one. Three Next. to two. Three to two. Three, three to two. Giggle. Wait, how's it three to two? It's three to two, sure. Because he got one, three of them right and I got two point, of them right. That's, <laughs> that's millennial math. <laughs> that's called common core you know math. Wait a minute. You, you know, know what? If it's sad. millennial math, everybody wins. You know it's what's sad is I'm an accounting major as well, So, uh, right. but I'm not a memory major, so I'm going to go with that. Well, Jordan, you're letting all us accountants I, down. I'm I actually know. an accounting master's. I have a master's in accounting. I'm just an accounting Padawan, so that's all right. Um, number seven, what species made an illegal blue colored ale in Star Trek? <laughs> Cam, go ahead and take this because yeah, I know the answer. See, no, I'm, not a, I'm not a Star Trek fan. Oh, you're not a Star Trek no. fan? Me neither. I'm not a. Uh, I'm going to guess, and I'm going to say it's a Klingon dead. It's not Klingon. But, but then close. it was definitely uh, 100% uh, Vulcan's dead. That's no. Then it was definitely humans. No. Uh, was it the Sulu, who whatever he is? <laughs> was it an gay? avatar? <laughs> yeah, it was gay. <laughs> the, no. the gays made no. blue. He, uh, it's the Romulans. It yeah, was Romulan a- ale that was made illegal. You guys heard uh, me say Romulan. Man, you guys, Romulans. I'm seeing the eyes start to glass over a little bit. I should have... Uh, 
figured out my audience first. No, it's okay. <laughs> That's all right. It's, a, it's beer we're, related pop culture. We're almost done, guys. Two more questions? Uh, three more questions. Three more questions. Okay, good. Four more. <laughs> Four more questions. Okay. <laughs> all right, I like it. We'll we'll back to a lot of questions, Brian. I'm, ready. I'm <laughs> adding them as I go in my good. head. Let's uh, go. That's fine. So, number eight. What year was Prohibition appealed? <laughs> History. Like pop culture. Let's go with hey, pop culture. It was popular guys. culture back then. It was, okay. Repealed. Yeah, repealed. Uh, repealed. Duff. Yes. 1927? No. Duff. 1932. No. Duff. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> 1933. Like, oh, you were really, so really close. You were really close. Duh. Really close. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you're, during you're, that time, it's been proven that the uh, government... That's unfortunate. I, yeah. yeah, the government actually put in uh, some type of like uh, toxin in alcohols to because it was illegal and it was and people were using like like crazy like rubbing alcohols and stuff and diluting it to what? try and get distribution and stuff but people were getting poisoned because the government was putting it in there to make it even worse and everything is that proven I have a, or did I have like a, Alex Jones look, I, I've seen Boardwalk that. Empire don't, yeah, don't try it's, to educate it's proven me on in the my, prohibition it's proven in my head uh, we have a conspiracy <laughs> podcast coming yeah. up soon so I did a lot of research on conspiracies and I feel way worse about myself um, <laughs> number nine what was the fictional bar called that is featured prominently in How I Met Your Mother? Oh. I know. I have no idea. I've watched that show, but I got nothing. Did Duff, it? challenge yeah. accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I will give it. No. <laughs> I, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. No. Nothing, Cam? Nothing. It was called watch. McLaren's Pub. Ah, oh, nice. Yes. yes. Which I always have a hard time remembering it because it's just that nondescript Irish pub, and I can never remember that name. Um, are we still at 3 2? We're still yes. at 3 2. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still still two yes, questions. Yes, are they, are, are they still getting in. harder? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it seems like they're <laughs> I feel like this so. is like the Turbo Pursuit plus plus plus. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, yeah. Is, this the, is this the last question? No, there's, no, two, there's two more. Two more. There's two more. Yeah, so I can we, can we make it win. interesting by making each one worth two points? Oh, they're using something out of our No, bag. because then if he gets the first one, then there's no point in having the last one. We can make the last one seven points. This is an arbitrary, stupid game for a fake radio show. Like, I don't. No, we make this one worth one point, and then the next one we make. You know, whatever you I, need to I do have to have help Brian problem. get to, Yeah, I have a know, logistical problem better. with this being All a right. fake radio show. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is being you the know least what? He's not going to get Skyped in. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're gone. Not. You're done. I'm finding, I'm finding friends in Frisco, Texas. That's <laughs> <fine>. <laughs> Talk about guns what and stuff. What is Frisco nearby? It's near. It's Dallas-Fort Worth area, 25 uh, okay. miles north. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, you could have just said I could have, <laughs> but I am, you know. So are you from L.A. or are you from, you know, you're not from the L.A. area? Is I'm same from deal. Santa Clarita. <laughs> <laughs> when you're down there, you'll be like, where are you from, Los Angeles? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's what you got to say. I have to be pretentious sometimes. I had a friend in art school who was from Fort Worth, and he used to make, like, uh, quilts out of mock human skin swatches. And everyone was like, he would like screen print human skin textures as a quilt. Did he he's, also put the lotion in the? He did. <laughs> and I was the only one that was weirded out by him. Everyone was like, yeah, no, he's great. Wait, did you like, say this no, was a friend a or someone you knew? Uh, he, I say friend because he lived next to me in the like in the complex sure. we lived in. Okay. So he was totally my friend, but also like he's the most scary human I've ever yeah. met in my whole life. Uh, it's anything, anytime human skin's involved, I feel like yeah. it's a little bit scary. Yeah. Synthetic human skin to look like human skin, it's yeah. terrifying. Yeah. In a blanket. I, I yeah. Art school. Art school. Hashtag art school. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> number 10. In the first six seasons of Laverne and Shirley, everyone's favorite pop culture show, <laughs> what brewery did they work at? This is not fair. <laughs> no, I got nothing. You got nothing? Hey, come on. No. I you know it? Guys, I know this and I'm a millennial. And I'm not even a hipster millennial. So <laughs> Duff. Yes. Budweiser. No. <laughs> uh, Duff. <laughs> Just take another shot at like... <laughs> Old Milwaukee. No, it's... Uh, nope. It's shots brewing. Shots. But here you go. Last question. Where was the brewery located? Duff. Yes. Milwaukee. It was Milwaukee. Ah. <laughs> and now it's tied. That it's one tied. tied. It's Damn tied. It. So we end tied. So now one of us has to chug a beer? I was going yeah, you to say your competitive spirit in less than five yeah. seconds. Well, whoever can chug a beer in under five you seconds wins. You have a ride and I don't, so I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'll, I'll sub in for you if he wants to compete well, no, against I me. I mean, we've seen your talent <laughs> in that level. I'm not... I know, I know, I know, I know when to go up against a challenge and not. That's hey, not this just fits in with the theme of the podcast. 
podcast because millennials, right. everyone wins. That's everyone right. wins. Yes. I have trophies for you guys. I like it. Are they uh, dildicorns? They're dildicorns. <laughs> yes, they are that dildicorns. Have you mentioned that on your podcast? No. Your podcast? Actually, he got mentioned. really weird yeah, on your you, podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a, oh, that was a lot more. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that, Cam. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. Cam mentioned he A lot of condom talk, dick talk. <laughs> yeah. mean, and now over here, he's just kind of like, ah, you know, you know I'm, I'm, I'm bummed out that I'm not going to be Skyping in and everything. And Where's all the dick talk now? That's, I've, I've, oh, Cam talk dick. That's, that's all yeah. our. That's just our Patreon exclusive footage. It's just Cam talking about, about dicks. dicks. Yeah. That's, so that's if you sign up for our Patreon, so you sign give us money, Patreon, you can hear me talk about it. That's pretty much what you get. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's the bonus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oddly enough, the best part is the best. The top tier on the Patreon is I draw you a picture. So. Yeah. Of anything you want. Yeah. Art school. Art yeah. school. Right. Exactly. We'll tap into that. So exactly. you guys should do that. Um, Jordan. I'm, Jordan told me that he bleeps all the cursing on this show with a dog bark. So the last three minutes is just going to be. Maybe I'll put a disclaimer on this one. But <laughs> viewer oh, yeah, discretion there you advised. There you, you go. Know? Yeah. Viewer yeah. discretion advised. Lots yeah. of dick. Lots of dick talk. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the D. Heavy on the D. <laughs> well. <laughs> That was my nick. That was my nickname in high school. Heavy on the D. Heavy yeah. on the D. All right. Love it. Well, thank you guys for being on, doing a little yeah. quick episode here. I yeah. really appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate no you letting us do it at the brewery. This is yeah, super this is cool. Rad. No worries. A little different. I love it. Uh, anyone who lives in anywhere Southern California, haven't checked out the dudes yet? Go check it out because it's awesome. Uh, and I'm gonna plug it up real quick. We're on Instagram and Twitter at Wreck My Podcast. I'll let you guys plug it up in a sec. I just want to get my boring crap out of the way because they all heard this before. Uh, <laughs> it's your show. W- yeah, we're we're po- on all podcasting apps. We're on YouTube. Uh, rate, review, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You've heard it all before. Check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Wreck My Podcast. We have one Patreon, so I gave them we an do. electronic hug, which I promised. And uh, we have episodes come out every Wednesday and Monday. We have a new episode, uh, and they're building a blanket out of. Synth- that yeah. Skin makes it look like you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we'll send it. You hug that. It's perfect. <laughs> Um, is it a synthetic hug? <laughs> and so, where can we find you guys? Where where, where are you guys found? I, we talked about the podcast, but anywhere else? Uh, yeah, you can find me all over social media, Brian F. McDaniel. Uh, and uh, yeah, a few beers, a few laughs on iTunes. Cool. And Toby, you at the dudes? At the dudes brew. Perfect. Come and see us. Have Go follow fun. it. And yeah. you have one for each brewery location as well, correct? Instagram. And the Instagram. In, on the Insta. On the Insta. Just to, so uh, I keep Insta. hip with what yeah. you guys are talking about. On the Insta, we've got uh, each handle for each tape tap room and uh our main main page on Facebook and all Instagram and everything else. So that's Perfect. cool. cool. So yeah. sl- slide into his DMs. Slide into those DMs. Someone yeah. else will Thank probably you. be taking care of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> taking yeah. care of your DMs for you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Slide. Um, and then you guys have like trivia nights and stuff and some oh, yeah. fun themed things at all your locations, and that's always great for people to come out and absolutely check Thurs- out. Thursdays are always trivia. You can usually find live music. Sundays and Torrance. Uh, Fridays and Saturdays. NFL package on Sundays there you go. Awesome. for you millennials that watch the football. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, a little bit of everything. Perfect. Uh, That's rad. Yeah. I'm into that. <laughs> I think. Oh, and <laughs> of course, I probably shouldn't forget about our comedy <laughs> troops. Oh, right. Uh, but we've got comedy in uh, Santa Clarita here. We're also going to have comedy in Santa Monica. And then when Hollywood opens, one Brian F. McDaniel will be hosting oh, our hey. phenomenal there you show go. in Hollywood. Good. When, do you, when do you guys do comedy out here in, in Santa Clarita? It's on Wednesdays. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but Wednesdays one time per month. Cool. That's pretty cool. Perfect. Yeah. Everyone Fun. loves a few beers and a few laughs. Ha. So I get it. There you that's go. A, that's his uh, thing. For and uh, yeah, so thank you guys for being here. And finally, thank you to the listeners because without you, we'd be a sad group of people talking to no one. That's yeah, true. That's what we'd be doing. I don't that's think you doing. alleviate the sadness. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> Brian, I was really starting to feel good about myself lately. <laughs> yeah. And, and you just jumped in. Now you just jumped in, yeah. and I have to reevaluate my life. Yeah. I might move to a different area, Texas yeah. now. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate Cheers. it. Yeah, All right. Thanks. Take care. All right. Bye. Love you. I didn't even get a dig at your die job. I, I should have. I should have got you. You know, guys who don't dye their hair always hate guys who do. No. I yeah, don't. it's true. I have no hair. Nobody? No. Like the- Wait, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> we should talk about this on our next podcast. Yes, definitely. I mean, I'm going to have your ass. I dye, right, my, I dye I, my pubes. <laughs> it's they, weird. That's the first thing that's growing gray, though, for you. Yeah. <laughs> you dye them clean.
clear though, yeah. which clear, is weird. Exactly. Clear. That's the exactly. bye thing. He's just got a lot of yeah, mileage exactly. down there. So yeah, like, you know. It's aged quick. It's a lot of penis, <laughs> penis stress is something I deal with. Um, are we rolling on it? Or? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So <laughs> we have all that to start off with there now. 